Hey, what's up? David Alex here with yet another I2C quick tip. In this one, I'm going to be showing you something cool you can do with the render queue. Now, um, I have this comp that I've just finished and I'm ready to render. So I'm going to go composition add to render queue. And I don't really like lossless because it leads to really large files and um, not so good. So I'm going to go ahead and make my own template. So I'll click on the lossless and change a few things here. First off, I'll just set it to uh, QuickTime. I'll go to format options and choose something like PNG. OK, and I'm going to set it to RGBA, millions of colors. That's fine. Audio stays off. OK, now this custom it's going to disappear once I add something else to render. So if I come here to small runes composition add to render queue, you'll find now it's back to lossless. So if you want to set this up as your default, so to do that, just click on the down arrow and choose make template. And then you just type in something that you can easily refer to. So I'm going to call this QuickTime PNG RGB A no audio lossless. And that can quickly let me know just by looking in here, I can know exactly what that is. Now I need to set this by default. So I'm going to click here, hold down control and select that QuickTime PNG RGBA no audio lossless. When I click that once you'll see up here, it says default movie output set. So if I come here to small rules, composition, add to render queue, you'll find there it is QuickTime PNG RGBA lossless. Everything's set up nicely. So every time, regardless of what project I'm in, from here onwards, it's going to use these settings.